Hello friends, I am back for Dress Your Tag number three and I have two tags for you today. So the thought behind Dress Your Tag is to how can I make this plain tag cute and interesting. And so, you know, we have all these little things just kind of sitting around in our ephemera bin, right? Just left over from different things. This is a piece of ephemera left over from the backpack kit. I have this random chipboard frame. I've probably had it for quite a few many years. And I have this butterfly. So how can I combine these three things to kind of dress my tag? And so I've been making like a mini tag to attach to the main tag is what I've been doing in the last two or three. So I'm going to do that with this one too. I'm going to stamp this tag and this tag as well. And then I think I'm going to add this chipboard. And then I have this wood piece. Like, what do you do with these wood pieces, right? So I might have one left over in the pack and I need to use it somehow. So I'm going to stamp on here. And then I'm going to tie this tag up. And then I'm going to kind of attach it here. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to speed it up so it's um, very quick. And you can watch me stamp these tags with the sentiments. And let me show you what I'm going to use. I'm going to use the details stamp set. So that's a little grid. It's kind of hard to see. It's a grid. And it has small words that you can stamp right here. So Or right here. It says the story, who, what, where, time, place, tradition. But I made this grid so you could stamp any of your kit stamps. Like you can stamp some images and sentiments up here. It gives you a nice grid to work on. I'm going to be using this Discover. And I'm going to stamp that up here. Or I might stamp it down here. And then maybe some of these images and words at the top here. I'm not really sure. But this is called Let's Go Explore. This is Details. And this is Backpack 3x4. So these are the ones I'll be using. Um, possibly I might throw in a little bit of um, life words or journal basics one and I'll have all the links below for you to check those out so let's do it <laughs>
ends and there you have it. You know this butterfly still bothered me so I'm going to change it out. But you get the idea. I had the big one. That big one covered the backpack. Now I don't like that the butterfly is sideways. I didn't think about that very well. So maybe let's do... Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to center it and put the butterfly in the center. I think that makes me happier. Um, yeah, let's use this one. Let's center it. So let's do... Oh my goodness. I just can't win for losing here, can I? That's okay. I think it'll all work out in the end. So, oops. Could also do a button too. I bet you that would be cute. Let's see. I'll be right back. Okay. I've got a couple button candidates here for layering. I kind of like the screen one. So how that would work, in my brain at least, is threading it through. So giving it an additional layer. Oops, where'd it go? I am so not good at small tactile movements. I always blame, uh, blame appearance. They say they must not have gotten me those block games when I was little or something. I don't know. My phone, fine motor skills are not great. All right, let's see. Um, there we go. Let's try that. See what, uh oh, don't want an upside down butterfly, it'd be worse. All right, and I'm gonna tie the top just to keep it stabilized there. Come back. All right, aha, there we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking a covered up both of my mistakes so now that I've tied it to the top here you can see the backpack I like that you can you can't tell that I didn't uh make the hole in the center with the butterfly and then you can I covered up this one so look at that look at that all right so let's get that tied up here I left plenty of space on the top and this is how you can dress a tag by using leftover pieces and parts. Just look how cute that looks. And so then now um, you have a little place to journal and it says, let's discover. So isn't that cute? All right, friends, let's do our second one. So the next one I'm going to do something with these two stars. So this is a chipboard star and a wood star left over. This little tag. This tag came from this punch. And you can purchase like, there's little, you probably have a small die in your stash or a small tag. Or um, you can cut a, you can make yourself a tag. Let me show you how to do that. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm going to make a little tag. Okay, so you have like a little piece of paper here. And I want to make a tag. You can punch it out or you can use your paper cutter. I just kind of eyeballed it and... That is how easy it is just to quickly make a little tag. And there you go. No punch necessary, just a little piece of paper. All right, so let's make up this tag.
here is dress your tag number three so we made this cute little tag here you know I didn't put something around the edges I think I'm going to use orange and put that around the edge so it has stamped images this details grid let's discover um, you can write your journaling here and look how cute that is with a button chipboard leftover piece of ephemera oh I'm sorry wood piece and then chipboard so just a super quick way um, to grab some little bits out of your bit, bitty bin. And then this tag was stamped with Journals Basics 1. Um, the backpack stamp, the sentiment in the world came from the backpack stamp. This little plane came from LifeWords. Camera was from the backpack stamp. And then a little wood piece and a chipboard star on a little tag with some twine. And look how quick and easy that was. Just took a couple minutes. Um, makes a great impact in your layouts. I hope you enjoyed the series and take care.